Well, here in Vatican City on the new Pope's first full day in the job, it is his humility that has stood out. It emerged that he shunned the papal throne last night to stand as he greeted the cardinals who appointed him. And today he began by surprising tourists at one of Rome's great basilicas, giving only a few moments' notice before popping in for an unscheduled prayer. And on his return, he stopped off to pay his hotel bill. The humble beginnings of Pope Francis have been reflected by the low profile he kept as a cardinal, but he has long been admired in particular for the work he's done with the poor in his home city of Buenos Aires. Our international editor Bill Neely is in Argentina and has spoken today to some of those who know him. Argentina, anda. It's minutes after his election and the congregation has told the astonishing news. Well, religious and secular leaders from across the world have today been offering their congratulations to the new pope. Among them was the head of the Anglican Church, the Archbishop of Canterbury, Justin Welby, himself a newcomer to the job. He wished Pope Francis every blessing and said he hoped their shared love of Christ would unite them. The Archbishop of Canterbury speaking a little earlier. So the first day of the new papacy here in Rome is drawing to a close with some clear signals as to how Pope Francis might shape it. Humility and simplicity seem to be the watchword so far from a pope ready on day one to head out of St Peter's here and say an informal hello to some of his flock. There'll be high theatre to come here in the square below us when he's formally installed as pope on Tuesday. But at its centre will be a man apparently keen to keep his feet on the ground. Julie, thank you.